So you can see here, this belonged to my great grandfather McGowan pre 1900. So this dish is, you know, probably 130, 140 years old. But again, either it's going to sit in a box wrapped in paper or it's going to be used to display some beautiful plants in my house. So I'm going to take this diamond tip drill. I'm going to try to drill a hole here in the bottom of this dish and hopefully it doesn't crack. I'm not one to, you know, I don't have a china cupboard. I'm not one to display dishes. These are definitely not anything you'd want to eat out of. And I know my children aren't interested in them. So let's do it. So I've got some wet towels kind of stuffed in here and kind of give it some padding so that it's, you know, hopefully won't vibrate too much with the, with the drill bit going on it. I'm going to leave this masking tape on here just to kind of give it something to grab onto. And usually I just do a little drilling and add a little water, keep the, the drill bit from getting too hot. So let's see what happens. Sometimes hard to get it going, get it. Uh... So I can see I do have a little bit of a divot started here. So I'm just going to keep going straight down and hopefully it doesn't crack. I think we're getting very close to breaking through here. I can see like a hairline crack on here that I think was there before. So hopefully that's not a weak spot here. So we have can see there's starting to be a little bit of a pinhole there making some headway a little bit more drilling I think that's an excellent size drainage hole not quite on center but no no big deal So I think this will work really nice for some of my succulents. Well, hopefully my mother, grandmother, great grandfather <laughs> are okay with this. I think they'll be happy that their dishes are gonna be used and displayed and enjoyed. So I think I have everything ready here to plant up my succulents now into this dish. And I've just taken a piece of coffee filter that I'm gonna just place in the bottom here just to cover that drainage hole, just so that the, the dirt doesn't fall through. And this mixture that I have made up here is two parts perlite with one part of the miracle Grow cactus uh, mix here. I find that um, the soil, this cactus soil by itself isn't quite, uh, you know, really ideal for succulents it's good to add a little more pure light or vermiculite or sand just to uh, make sure it's really well draining soil and these are my succulents i just purchased these in the grocery store about two months ago they've been sitting here waiting for a, a container to go into so i've just separated them i've given the roots a little bit of a spritz because they were really super dry and we're going to try and set them up in this dish I want to give this a bit of a spritz too, just to give it a bit of moisture. This seems like a good centerpiece here, this kind of rosette looking succulent. I'm just going to try and place everything in here and see how it looks and then we'll fill it in with more soil. I'm hoping that this dish is deep enough. It's not super, super deep, so hopefully it works for these. Thank you. 
So I find this perlite added to the uh, soil really gives it kind of a nice look as well. And I'm, I have some of these, uh, this gravel here that I purchased at the dollar store that I thought maybe would be nice just to also fill in around the, the plants here. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of this white rock. So there it is, all planted up. What do you think? I just think this is such a great way to repurpose some old dishes that, you know, I've had wrapped up in some old newspaper, packed away in the corner in boxes for a couple of years, ever since my mom passed away. And I think, you know, like I said, her, her and my grandma, grandfather should all be really happy to see these dishes. Uh, back in use again and on display. So hopefully these little succulents will be happy in their new container here under the grow lights. I'm hoping to someday get a setup in my living space upstairs with some grow lights that I can actually display some of these succulents and enjoy them a little bit more. Here's another vintage dish that I drilled a hole in also and if you look very very closely I'm trying to grow some lithop succulents from seed which is a huge challenge but as you can see there is a few little green spots popping up here. So hopefully someday these little lithop seeds will grow and eventually they will look like this one here. So if you have any vintage dishes lying around that you aren't using for anything, maybe they will make a good planter for one of your indoor plants. If you enjoyed watching my video, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy gardening.